stream, talking to some people. You guys seemed like you were excited about some Smash tonight. So we actually had a really, really big turnout. Like, really big turnout. God damn, 28 people? That's why the pot's so big. So I've actually been practicing a lot of, um... Again, what the hell? It's Grand Finals. Grand Finals. Wait, I just heard Rao say that? <laughs> it's Grand Finals, goddammit. Grand Finals on so, over the gate of Soul. So, Chaos, uh, two stock, uh, two, two, oh, two stocked him. He beat him. <laughs> well, wait, it was three. Sorry, three. Or two. Really? Yeah. He, he went, he, he, he won all matches. So he's trying to do it again, and he did it with Bowser, and he felt that um, Katara was sleeping on him. But this is a different stage. You can't just do that freely. All right? It's a movement, moving <laughs> stage, and this is really bad for Bowser, and you know that. I mean, yeah. He's heavy if the, the stage changes. But, but yeah, I mean, you never know. You know, Chaos might get something. I know Chaos doesn't really uh, like all the different stages. Like, he, he likes the idea of it. I think, like, personally, though, he doesn't like playing on these stages so much. But he's definitely not against the idea of uh, all these random stages. Guitar, you know, they got to watch out. It's going to blow up in a second. That was a second now. That was a nice attempt to do the uh, <laughs> forward smash into uh -huh. and then doing the yeah. just neutral B, trying to get him to stay near I the wall. I like that. I like how we use the uh, Bowser Bomb. to, And it actually, like, mm, misses um, the grab. Good spot dodge on him. It destroyed the banana. And, of course, just an up air. And Katara oh, taunting, taunting with the down B. Now, that's what I wondered when, like, people were going to start doing that, just taunting with down B when he doesn't have a banana. Because, I mean, just, like, that, that face is, like, what happened. It's yeah. just so troll. It really well, is. I, I was telling Ka I was talking to Chaos earlier about it. I was like, honestly, I, I feel like Katara was the only... It, I wouldn't say he's the only... Um, oh, God, he hit the side. He got hit. Lots oh, of damage. Chaos didn't jump. He should have jumped Um, I was saying earlier, I feel that Katara, the way he plays... He plays a lot more heavy base with the banana compared to a lot of other people. If you saw Apex, they really yeah. didn't go crazy with the bananas. They were just like yeah, very just, controlled, using yeah. a lot more. And of honestly, it's like you know the banana makes it a very good, very good. I mean, you know, this stage is a bit different because you don't have a, a solid uh, grounding. Yeah. And that up air was gonna take it. I I think he should stick with Bowser. I think it was more the stage. Oh, definitely. It was and I would say gentlemen's it. Try to try to stuff them out by gentlemen, <laughs> getting the gentlemen. I mean, I, I like the interesting stages, but uh -huh. if you really want to I mean, get also also yeah. he does have you know, um, it, it it is grand finals. He is on the winner's side, so and he's not splitting. Yeah, no, they're not splitting. So, so he wants. Yeah. <laughs> and we go to Wooly World. All right, this is a little bit better for him actually. It's more of a walk off, but he can't really. Uh, do yeah, but it's a temporary off. walk off. It, it yeah. comes and goes, and then with it being Diddy Kong. Um, when the ground is away, Diddy Kong actually just run away extremely easily and then just come back in, get some damage. Very nice tech on that uh, hard platform, though. Nice nice follow-up with the up up airs. Yeah, that, that the down throw into up air. Yeah, the down throw is the who and the up air is the ha. <laughs> and then, you know, there could be multiple ha's. Oh, it misses the back air there. Oh, dropped his shield a bit too much. <coughs> and, like, see, uh, when there's no floor here, uh, Diddy Kong has a major advantage because he can just run around like, um, like how and then just come in, do some damage, and then run away again. And then also this platform is relatively close to the ceiling. So, you know, if he just gets like a couple up airs, he can get a kill sooner than he normally would, even so on Bowser. So basically, he's staying on this platform just for some hoo-ha. Yeah, so he can get... He can get an I know you don't want to say it. No, I know. <laughs> so he can get a, very, a much earlier kill with the uh, up air, even though it's Bowser, because Bowser will live for a while. Now, if... If he's high enough percentage, do you think that Chaos would just try to do, uh, try to do the grab, just to grab the go off the stage and just kill himself with, with Diddy Kong, or is it just not ideal? It's usually well, not the, ideal, and also that's <laughs> the, the side B can actually like, uh, it actually has when it lands, it has very high vertical knockback. So it can it can be like a kill move if it lands uh, uh, as well. So it doesn't really matter. It's just very risky going for that grab since uh, the recovery on it is huh? pretty slow. Oh. And uh, punishable. Oh, okay. Wow. So, like what Chaos really got to look there. for is just like um, 
like a back air or maybe just like a throw near the edge. You gotta be careful, you know, nice with these up airs. What I think KO should do in that up air, that up throw, wow, no, not gonna kill. Oh. Even so close to the ceiling. I think yeah. what KO should do is um, I don't know if he should try the down B, maybe the down air. I don't know if it's too slow or not against the. Uh, oh wow! That up tilt. Will kill. That was really interesting that they actually killed like from. Wow, well, it was at like one thirty six percent. Still, you you would think like because the way he hit him, it's just like. I guess. I mean, it would have went more to like. Yeah, I think I think he's trying to do what you were saying, uh, trying to get a side B throw. Even though I know the game doesn't read it as a win for Bowser, I think. We but still do we? I think we still consider it. I think the community as a whole. If he side bees him off and kills him, do we count it as a uh, Bowser's win? We should. Or we let the game side jackal. Because if, if it goes by the game's decision, do we like basically? Okay, real quick. Do we let the game decide if like Bowser was to do like side B off the stage and kill uh, well, the character? Do we consider it like yeah, Bowser side bees him where he like grabs him and then flips off the stage and kills both of them? Yes, there's that thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, and that up air killing. And I did not think that would kill, actually. Uh, I think we're going to see a switch from him. I, I think it's no longer about the stage. Maybe Kataru's actually picked it up and seen mm -hmm. the patterns. I mean, honestly, though, it's not like he's doing bad. Chaos underscore, he definitely brought it back. He definitely had Diddy Kong at kill percent. He yeah. absolutely just needed to get the hit. It's just harder against Kataro. Kataro is very good at, you know, spacing his move so then he doesn't get hit by the follow-ups and such. All right, he is sticking with Bowser. Oh, I we, get, we get a normal stage, actually. Yeah. We get Duck Hunt. Well, you can actually jump on the birds. It's about as different, as unique as it gets. Yeah, but, I mean, we, we've <laughs> always had that, like, Shy Guys and Yoshi story in Melee, so it's sure. not that different. It's just the weird platforming on the stage is what really God. makes it. Oh, yeah, and that patch of grass. Which is so weird, but it's so, honestly, the side of the stage is so deceiving sometimes. Mm -hmm. I love uh -huh. it. What? Yeah. What? What did they How pick? can they do that? Because they said you can only play on these specific stages because of music license. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that was gonna get him. And another so up, no Island, up there. No, uh, po no Pokemon Stadium. I mean, that's that's not legal normally, anyways. I know there's an like argument Pokemon for Stadium. it. Oh, Whoa! and that down B will kill. I didn't and think he'd actually go for that. And he still got the edge, too. Yeah. He did not kill I think, himself. I think he was thinking more about grabbing the edge safely <laughs> than killing him. But, yeah. hey, you take what you can get. I'm not really sure. So, so if you are to deem it as a problem, it was Kataru's mistake for actually even trying to follow up and stop him yeah. from doing anything. Uh, but he still gets he up air. He tries to get um, an attack. I think it was going to be forward air. And, I mean, like, honestly, like, Chaos can definitely win this. Absolutely. You just got to get the damage in. And be careful, you know, just not to get the uh, grab. Yeah, I was trying to go for that neutral B. It's but not Charles is just juggling him. Like, what I'm saying is I think Chaos should try and do a down B or down air to just plan on the stage when yeah. he knows Kataro is going to be chasing him after with that up, up Ooh, air. Ooh, nice throw. Oh, tries to go for a back air there. And like, yeah, I know this is a very frustrating matchup for Bowser, but Chaos is a very good Bowser. He, kn he knows how to work this character and such. Nice shielding from uh, Kataro. Every time he sees the, uh, the flamethrower come out, and that back throw. Oh, he doesn't do a oh, back throw. up air. I thought he was going to do a back throw. And oh, he, very he, nice by Kataro. He just oh, ran wow, nice right drag. through him and goes for a pivot grab. Um, So, basically, he didn't. Oh, oh try to get the idea again. Um, Basically, Chaos actually didn't want to roll to the right. Uh huh. And he didn't want to. <laughs> he didn't want to do anything that meant going to the right because the banana was there. Yeah. So, yeah, that's been a really <laughs> stopped his movement. 